Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The Department of Science and Technology, DST, Government of Sikkim, is undertaking a scientific expedition to East Rathong Glacier in West Sikkim. The two weeks long expedition, which began on June 22, aims to advance the understanding of glacier dynamics and the impacts of climate change on the Himalayan region. Minimizing the threat of glacial lake outburst flood or GLOF in Sikkim is one of the core objectives of Sikkim State Climate Change Cell, established under National Mission for Sustaining the Himalayan Ecosystem. Or or NMSHE. The expedition is led by a distinguished team of scientists and researchers from DST, the government of Sikkim, equipped with state-of-the-art instruments and technologies to ensure precise and accurate data collection. Sikkim Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang has requested the Ministry of Jal Shakti to constitute a team of experts to study Tista's river morphology, assess the damage and provide guidance, resources and expert recommendations. Tamang met Union Minister for Jal Shakti, Mr. C.R. Patil, today and brief him on the problems being faced by the state. The Chief Minister highlighted before C.R. Patil the immense challenges faced by the state following a sudden cloudburst on October 3rd and 4th, 2023, which led to a significant discharge in the Tista River. This event brought in enormous debris, causing a substantial rise in the water level due to sedimentation, with the riverbed level rising by approximately 8 to 10 metres and drastically altering the morphology of the river. The Central Bureau of Investigation, or CBI, has a case against four accused, including three then assistant managers and one then office assistant multipurpose, all working in Assam Gramin Vikash Bank, Madhapur branch Jorhat, on the allegations of entering a criminal conspiracy among themselves and unknown others for fraudulently causing loss to the bank. In pursuance of the said conspiracy, it has been alleged, accused dishonestly and fraudulently, sanctioned and dispersed amounts in fictitious self-help groups or SHGs loan accounts and transferred the proceeds of the same to saving bank account of one of the accused, then assistant managers and other bank accounts. The accused thereby cause an alleged wrongful loss to the bank of rupees 8 crore 28 lakhs 42,900 approximate and corresponding gain to themselves. Ever since Meghalaya implemented the roster system for recruitment into government posts, every recruitment has been under heavy scrutiny as the major tribes of the state don't want to miss out on the reservation share that belongs to them. The latest recruitment in the eye of the storm and going viral on social media is the recruitment for assistant auditor, assistant audit officer under the administrative control of the Directorate of Local Fund Audit Meghalaya. The Garo community is especially aggrieved with the recruitment since only four Garo candidates were recruited against their quota of seven posts out of the total 18 posts. In contrast, Khasi Jaintia candidates were recruited for all the eight posts reserved for them, with three posts meant for the Garo community left vacant since the Meghalaya Public Service Commission or MPSC could not find suitable candidates has not gone down well with the community. They have voiced injustice against them and an alleged attempt to keep the representation low in the government. Take it in the spirit of the game, said footballer Bai Chung Bhutia as he bid goodbye to electoral politics, apologising to anyone he may have hurt. Sikkim Democratic Front leader and former Indian football captain Bai Chung Bhutia announced his resignation from all forms of electoral politics on Tuesday. This decision follows with the results of the 2024 Sikkim Assembly elections in which the Sikkim Krantikari Morcha SKM party led by PS Tamang secured a decisive victory. Bhutia, who joined politics in 2014 when the ruling Trinamal Congress TMC in West Bengal named him as its candidate for the Darjeeling Lok Sabha seat, faced his sixth electoral defeat at the hands of Riksal D. Bhutia, the candidate from the Sikkim Krantikari Morcha SKM. This defeat appears to have been a decisive factor in his decision to step away from active politics. Thank you for listening to our podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mithela. Thank you.